Today I'm going to be making something really fun and these are chocolate vanilla sandwich cookies. So let's get on with the ingredients. Half a cup of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of cocoa powder, one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one egg yolk, half a cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So those are the ingredients for the actual cookie dough. We're also going to need some fondant for the actual inside, the vanilla portion of our cookie. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to get in all of my sugar and then my lovely, lovely butter. And then I'm going to grab my mixer and I want to cream all of this together. Once that's creamed, I'll get my egg yolk in there. That's just going to add a little bit of richness to this. And then I can add in all of my vanilla. I'll add in my salt now. Okay. And then I'll grab a sieve and I'm going to get my lovely cocoa powder in there and my little bit of baking powder and then all of our flour and I'm sifting the flour as well anything that doesn't go through just take your fingers or the back of a spoon and just push it through and then we just want to mix this in until combined so I've been mixing this for about 30 seconds and you can see this is kind of dry I usually use my KitchenAid mixer with the paddle and it mixes this much nicer it breaks down the butter a lot better but if I squeeze this you can see this is just on the edge of coming together so what I'm going to do now because I'm using the hand mixer for this video the the mixture is not combining the way it usually does in my KitchenAid so I'm going to add in a tablespoon of water and I'm just going to mix that in I just want to get the fats and everything a little I just want this mixture a little bit moist so that it'll start coming together so at home, if you see the same thing happening to you when you're using a hand mixer, just add you know, a little bit of water until it starts coming together. So I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of water. That should be enough. I just want this coming together. So now all of a sudden it started to come together. That's perfect. The main cause for this is when your butter is a little bit too cold, it doesn't give off as much moisture as when it's warm and so it doesn't get into that mixture correctly okay so that's pretty good now it's all come together so I'll just spin to clean off my beaters and we're ready to go on to the next step all right you can see how nice this dough is now really really nice to make this a little easier to work with I'll just cut it in half I'm going to make some nice discs and whenever you're making your discs flatten them out as much as you can before you actually chill them because it will make this a lot easier to roll out later on. So I'm just going to squeeze them out, try to keep them uniform in thickness and that's good. And what I want to do now is I want to chill this down and I want just to let everything relax. So I'll do the other one and I'll be back in a second. So I've got my two discs, I'm going to pop these into the fridge for a good half hour or so, 45 minutes, and then I'll come back and we're going to roll them out and we'll start on our cookies. Alright, my dough has chilled for about an hour or so, and I'm just going to get it onto my work surface here, and just start rolling it out. Nothing fancy here, we just want to get this as thin as you want your cookies and then we're going to cut up all the cookies out. So I do have my oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be baking our cookies for about 8 to 10 minutes. I have a parchment lined baking tray here and I have a cookie cutter here and I'm just going to start cutting out little circles. And I'll get that on my tray. Let's move that over so you can see it a little bit better. So whenever you are cutting out circles from your dough, 
Try to make them as close as possible to each other and that just maximizes your dough you know, surface area. Because if you're going one here and one here and one here and one here then you're going to be rolling a lot more than you need to. So you can get quite a few out if you really think about it and get them really nice and close together. So I'll whip through this and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just cut all of them out. I've got a little bit left here. I could probably get oh one out of here, but I'm not going to bother for this recipe. So I have a total of uh, five by six, so that's 30. So we can make 15 cookies out of this. So right now I'm going to pop these into my 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I'm back and I baked my cookies for a total of nine minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. These are completely cool. And I'll just show you at the nine minute mark, you can see they're a little bit, like they're still soft, I can bend them. I don't wanna bend it too much so that they, you know, they'll crack, but they're still pliable. So they're, they're not rock hard, which is nice. Now, if you want these to be, you know, with a little bit more, you know, crispy, then you'll leave them in a little bit longer, you know, maybe, 10, 11, 12 minutes. I wouldn't leave them in more than 12 because they are very, very small. Now, with this recipe, this is very much like a sugar cookie. And here is the, the cookie cutter that we used and you'll see that these have not shrunk down at all. You can actually see this one here is just puffed slightly, doesn't fit on there. But you can see how nice these hold their shape. So these are perfect. So at this point right now, we're gonna go on to our next step. So for our next step, we're going to be using that fondant that I showed you at the beginning of the recipe. Now fondant, this is a rolled fondant and you usually comes in a big container like this. Now in here, I have icing sugar. Whenever you're rolling fondant, you always want to use icing sugar. Okay, and what I've done just before I started filming is I'm basically squeezing this like you would a stress ball. So you really want to get in there and get some heat into this, which makes it a little bit more pliable and you really want to work this, okay? Once you've got it like that, then you can just get it into a ball and then we're gonna roll this out. So I'm gonna get a little bit of icing sugar down. And then I'm gonna grab a tiny rolling pin and I'm just gonna start rolling this out. And you can make it any thickness that you want. You wanna have a fair bit in between our little cookie. So I'm gonna roll this out and I'll be back in one second. And that looks good just like that so I've got my cookie cutter and then I'm gonna simply just cut a few rounds now let me just cut one more here and I'll move this out of the way so our next step we're gonna grab some of our really nice cookies and then I've got a little bit of water here and this is optional you can just take the water put a little bit on there and then turn it over Pop it on top of that cookie. A little bit of water on that side. And then take your upper cookie and put it on there. How nice does that look? So let's do another one. And a little bit of water. And that's optional. You don't absolutely need to do that. A little bit of water. And then pop it on there. Grab a couple more. See how nicely the fondant and the cookie, you know, they align. Very, very nice. There's another one. And you may have realized that I only used one of the discs. So you don't have to use all of the discs. One's enough. Depends if you have a lot of people, you know, coming for a little party or something. Or what you can do is you can take that dough and freeze it and then make another batch of these at another time. We'll put that on like that. And there we have it. Don't they look like Oreo cookies? Really, really nice. And they're homemade. Let me zoom in. So there we have it. Our really, really nice homemade vanilla sandwich cookies. They kind of look like Oreos, don't they? Kids will have a ball putting these together. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.